What's going on, Toxic Gamers? We gotta talk about this one immediately, okay? Yeah, man, suckers are beefing right now. We got the Ghost of Tampon situation. We also got the Lara Croft situation. We got, we had Ghost of Sushi, Ghost of Tsushima, Ghost of Yore, the Galo situation, the Halo situation, right? No, oh, we also ended up getting sued recently as well, man. And we had the BBC situation. Salute to Captain BBC! <laughs> Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Listen, man, I gotta give everybody equal chances. I'm not a savage, guys. I gotta give everybody equal chances, okay? With that said, let's get down to it, guys. Shout out to the homie Smash JT. We're talking about Ghost of Yore, Ghost of Sushi, Ghost of Tampon Roller. It's becoming painfully predictable at this point. Wait for Another it. game reveals its cast, the gaming community in general shares our opinions, and of course, here comes the quote unquote gaming journalists with the same tired, lazy defense to yeah. push a narrative and agenda with their ideologies. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash J. N nothing much going on, brother. Nothing much. They're barely. They're, they're crickets right now. Like nothing, nothing going on in the gaming, bruh. Yeah, they recently changed Lara Croft as well. Damn, bro. Like I swear to God, man, these suckers are hella sexist with this one, man. She was amazing. Like her character design was beautiful as well, right? Uh, uh, people love suckers, love Tomb Raider, okay? People love Tomb Raider, man. And they could not bear that. They could be like, nah, bro. How dare you guys enjoy that? So they change. Lara Croft to Larry Croft to Lorenzo Lesnar as well, man. They gave her the Brock Lesnar treatment though. This is how she be looking like right now. Where is that? Yeah, this is how she be looking like right now. Damn. You know, you feel what I'm saying? So yeah, nothing much has been going on in gaming. AT. And today we have a new entry to Kotaku Detected. Someone who I've never even heard of before, but when I looked into them, of course, I'm already blocked. Armina Khan Bumble is Clad not the biggest fan Clad brothers. Clad. of gamers. In fact, she wrote an entire toxic article gamers. basically crapping on the entire game community. Why? Yeah, to toxic gamers, toxic gamers. Because we dared question the lead of Ghost of Yote and if potential- It's Ghost of Yote, like uh, yo, 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 that's Actually, like, yeah. this could have far-reaching implications for the quality and long-term success of the brand. I feel like it's fair to do that, but apparently, that doesn't fit the narrative. So, according to Zermina, we've turned from being critical of our favorite pastime into just being trolls. Now, yeah, 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 whoa, whoa, tranquilo. Now, here's the context, okay? There were reports. Now, people are not mad. Not Some probably are, okay? I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. But generally speaking, majority of the gamers and majority of the population is not mad because there is like a female protagonist, okay? That's not the case. Sekas love Tomb Raider. There's a reason for it because this game is amazing. It's like Uncharted but from like a female perspective and uh, she's an archaeologist, right? People people love that. People love that, okay? People people love that, all right? Yeah. But they changed that so they are the ones that are... They don't like women apparently, so that's why they did it. We love women, man. We love it, okay? But here's the thing though. People are not necessarily... Not everybody. Majority is not mad that there is a female protagonist with Ghost of Tsushima or Ghost of Yo 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 Te. Okay, people are not mad with that. What people are... Uh, reports are now saying, and this is why people are just questioning and they're criticizing and they're just like thinking to themselves and they're questioning, right? Because reports, this is the reports, this is not my opinion, this is not my opinion, okay? So reports have been saying that they were at one point working on Ghost of Tsushima 2, they wanted to continue the storyline of Jin Sakai, Jin Sakai was the protagonist, the main character in Ghost of Tsushima 1 that came out a couple of years ago and generally speaking, people love that game, right? And you know, then we had the BBC situation happen, Assassin's Creed Shadows of the BBC, and we all saw what they've done to Yasuke, what they've done to Asian people in that game, what they've done to black people. They're using LGBT people, black people as shields to be actively racist towards Asian people. Uh, and, uh, you know, they went crazy. We talked about it a billion times already, so not gonna go in depth with that. So people were actively comparing Ghost of Tsushima versus this game, and I get that. I get that, and uh, people were like, hey man, get ready till get Ghost of Tsushima 2 comes out. And what we heard is that when, at one point they were working on Ghost of Tsushima 2, but then they cancelled Ghost of Tsushima to Jin Sakai's story for political reason and that's when they decided to have like a female protagonist <laughs> which uh, and the voice actress is uh, uh, is an, a voice actress and the actual actress of the, the protagonist is an activist so people are questioning it. Now personally, okay, you guys can disagree with me or you can agree with me if that makes sense or not makes sense but uh, 
I don't care what the actress and the voice actress does in her real life. Like, if she has different opinions than me or from you guys, from everybody, that's perfectly fine, though. I'm cool with it. As long as, as long as the game is good, alright? It's not pushing agendas and it makes sense for the story, right? Because we're seeing it's a female protagonist and if, 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 if she's like a girl boss queen and all men toxic, all men bad, then of course like Sick is gonna have a problem with it and people are gonna question and rightfully so. Uh, and we're talking about 1608, I believe that's uh, 1600 is what I know, right? Like that's when the story is set, that's when the game is set. So if they do that story justice and if the game is fun, objectively it is good and the writing is good, story good, and uh, they do the character in the game justice, then fine. Then fine by me regardless of what's uh, the opinion of the actress of the protagonist is okay i don't care about that but if it turns out that they're pushing agendas then i totally understand so this is the context now let's get down to it guys. hit that subscribe give me a like and check out smashjt.com for the full article breaking down zarmina khan and her hatred for gamers and the entire game community in general if you dare have an opinion that goes in contrast to what her agenda is zarmina khan is listed as a senior editor for playstation lifestyle a website that i don't fancy very often but couldn't help but peruse this one in particular because to put it mildly it's an absolute embarrassment to what journalism used to be and before i even dive into the article i feel like it's worth mentioning that per her own linkedin prior to working at playstation lifestyle she worked for the british government yeah a gamer that loves games all right that worked for the government and then comes into the game industry totally normal her piece on ghost of your tides voice actor erica ishii being harassed by trolls has all the makings of the worst take imaginable pushing the toxic gamers agenda with zero concern for the actual facts you know, the things really important that makes a story viable, or at least mm. used to, on some other planet, it feels like, because it's been so long since we had actual journalists that focus on the facts and reality with citing... L listen, man, suckers just want a good game, bro. Gamers just want a good game, bro. You can have whatever opinion you feel like uh, are valid for you, right? Like, we don't care about it, we just want a good game. For how long we've been through this one, for how long we uh, we have had bad games after bad games, like, yeah, right, like, damn, damn, no pun intended, but damn, shush, shush, okay, but yeah, it's like it's just one a good game, I'm getting distracted out here, though, so. Sources, let's begin with the basics, where's the evidence here? Like all the articles of this type, Khan offers up vague accusations of harassment and trolling, but, but provides no receipts. None. Yeah, like Concord recently happened. For how long my brothers have been suffering? For how long my brothers can keep on getting? And my sisters too. Cannot forget my sisters though. Strong and independent. But, but yeah, for how long my brothers and sisters have been getting like bad games after bad games it's time to get some good games fellas come on man like damn that's all what we asking for brothers we just want a good game man damn not a single screenshot not one quote just vague statements about how horrible gamers are because once again some people are daring enough to question the casting of an actress who's openly queer genderless and pushes ideologies on the masses yeah but don't you yeah, dare yeah. step out of line with these journalists because they will try to silence you at all costs if you're going to call a supposed wave of trolls and harassment shouldn't you at least offer some proof but no con sticks to the usual formula of slapping labels on anyone who doesn't agree with her whatever the hell that means in this context bumbleclad brothers and pretends that the entire gaming community is toxic on the whole alluding to generic talking points and trying her very best to play the victim in all of this yeah. before I even knew who's america damn sister blocked her damn sister blocked her though or hey my bad my bad my bad uh, my bad sorry guys sorry <laughs> yo crazy man yeah yeah Massive beefs guys big beefs going down in the gaming industry right now. Damn homie press X to escape right now Crazy Khan was she already blocked me on Twitter and that kind of behavior of screams insecurity and damage control as if she knew Her takes were so weak that she couldn't handle the slightest bit of criticism or questioning Almost like you got to live in this echo chamber and yeah. anyone that dares say anything are the best worked for the government by the way bad guys if they don't 100 percent agree with you he states in an article in the midst of it all trolls discovered that ishii had no preferred pronouns is a member of the lgbtq community and wait a bit i'm pretty sure she meant to say wait for it but whatever has a hairstyle not to their liking seeing this ishii started blocking people which further frustrated them okay so 
take a step back. There's a lot of assumptions, presumptions, and just assuming everything with what's wrong with the game community here instead of, I don't know, taking some accountability. Because here's the thing with Erika Ishii. No one has an issue with her being the character in the game specifically. Yeah. The yep, concerns yep, 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 are, yep. is this- uh, Now, some do, and that's their opinion, right? But majority don't. People just want good games. Simple as that. You can have your uh, uh, like uh, opinions, your politics. Uh, that's cool, though. Everybody got their opinions. Everybody has the right to have their opinions. Okay, simple, simple. But people just want a good game, though. Simple as that. Like, come on, man. It's it shouldn't be that hard to swallow. This a concept shouldn't be that hard to swallow. It's going to impact the direction of the game, which I feel like is a fair question to ask. And we're all just guessing at this point because we don't have the game in our hands. It's fair to ask questions and wonder the direction of the game. Yeah, like, I, I would... Like, <laughs> whoa, whoa, tranquilo, tranquilo, mami, tranquilo. Guys, uh, real quick, okay, before I show you... Uh, let me double check that, okay? Be cool, be cool, be cool. Guys, if you have Instagram, Bruh. I would definitely love to have you there, okay? Link is always in the pinned comment. We also got a second channel, now I'm saying. We try to upload mostly every day there if you're into conspiracies uh, and all that crap. Some Something that you love to watch late at night, that's the channel for you fellas out here. So definitely check it out, or I'm just gonna try and skip that one. Man, like, she going crazy right now, man. Sheesh, okay, she. Let's get back to the content now, boo-boo. But no, she straight up labels anyone questioning this a troll. Why? Because we're questioning someone who doesn't have preferred pronouns and is a member of the LGBTQ community? She's trying hard to downplay her hairstyles and why that's not a big deal, where I would argue these are things we like to call in the business red flags. And if you see a pattern of types of individuals that do these types of things, you know, have the nose rings, the piercings, the tats all over their faces, the side of their haircut completely shaved off, I mean, there's some telltale signs that they might not all be there upstairs, and we'd like to ask some questions about the direction of what's going on here. Con resorts to labeling all criticism as absurd complaints or the the usual woke bashing without ever explaining why the fans feel frustrated. Instead of engaging in a good faith discourse, Khan buries the conversation under the tired agenda. Yeah, a sister going crazy on toxic gamers, man. Sister, come on, man. Damn, man. Damn. She references how Ishii started blocking people, which is true and well within her right. True, but true. then again, the people Facts. that Ishii was blocking, many of them I saw speaking up on Twitter saying, why did she block me? I was defending her. That was what people were bringing up is that's concerning. That shows that she doesn't even give a crap about the people that are defending her and care about this franchise. She's just going on a mass blocking spree. And that's something that, I don't know, I feel like it's fair to bring up. Woke and unhinged, claimed one grifter who didn't waste time producing a YouTube video on this all-important subject. <laughs> let, let me tell you, man, YouTubers are just ready to make a video, though. Like, that, that's true, though. I gotta, I gotta hand it over, man. I gotta... <laughs> but where are the lies, though? Damn, man, wh why is this concept so hard to swallow, though? We don't care what y'all be thinking, but we just don't want y'all to be, like, changing video game characters for the sake of it, right? Like, damn, like, how many times, man? How many times, like, you know, Ghost of Sushi or Tsushima turn into yo, 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 Tay? You know? Bruh. Ghost of Tampon right now. And if it's true, if the reports are true, it was supposed to be the continuation of Jin Sakai. And the crap that's going on with Sweet Babying that recently came out too, you guys, uh, some of you guys are fall, uh, familiar with it and you have been maybe following it, maybe not, but I'll... Uh, I made a video recently, so definitely check that out if you're, like, confused with it as to what's going on. You know, Lara Croft became Lorenzo right now, perfectly fine game that turned now people are panicking with galo or halo situation too because the uh, halo master chief might be changed to mrs chief right yeah you never know so uh, we had the assassin's creed bbc situation we had dustborn we had concord as well we had concord right dustborn uh, why am i repeating i just said that right yeah. sometimes i do be getting distracted though. i do be getting distracted though okay but before I even go further here, hold up. She's already labeling this YouTuber a grifter by trying to discount their arguments and questioning. She's trying to place a label on them that makes them feel like they're some sort of conspiracy theorist and downplaying what their actual points are. Yeah, uh, by the way, conspiracies on my second channel, guys. We cover, 
<laughs> we cover conspiracies on the second channel. Actress for Ghost of Tsushima sequel is actively blocking people, in quotes, moaned another waste of space. Like, could you at least try to hold your bias back a little bit here? This is embarrassing. You're trying to propagate and push your own narratives on other people and labeling them. I've noticed this, by the way. Kim Blair did it with Elon Musk calling him a noted buffoon. It's like these types of people always try to place labels on everyone else, but as soon as they get labeled, all hell breaks loose as they're the most Toxic awful gamers. people in the world for daring to label them something because it's pretty obvious what they are. The piece yeah. doesn't mention that some fans feel the series is moving away from its roots or their concerns are about forced narratives. No. Again, none of that matters. According to Khan, if you don't like the direction the game's taking, you're just a waste of space who spends more time complaining than actually playing video games. Yeah, so this is... This is the homie Jin Sakai. We were supposed to get Ghost of Sushi 2, Ghost of Tsushima 2, with Jin Sakai's story continuation, but they gender swapped. Is what we're hearing, not my opinion. Not my opinion. Uh, and, and yeah, that's what people are like, hey man, why y'all suck us doing it? be doing that bro like why else could be doing that ghost of yo 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 tay could have uh been could have been a dlc could have been like a separate game a new game why else suckers do that bro like damn and also more so than that why else suckers doing that to the good uh female protagonist games oh shit she died my bad guys let's actually skip Bruh. that here cannot see laura dying man i mean technically they already killed her with the uh, yeah you feel what i'm saying like where's that yeah <laughs> Technically, they already killed her, so yeah, even if if the queen dies in the game, so what, right? Like, yeah, bro, it's over. Though. ...of space who spends more time complaining than actually playing video games. You, the gamer, are the problem. Not this woke agenda that they're pushing their propaganda and ideologies on you. No, 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 no. They're allowed to do that because, you know, free speech and all that. But as soon as you dare question it, no, 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 you're the problem. I've also noticed how they try to place the label of a uh, conspiracy theorist on people that are just genuinely asking questions about a situation that they care about because these games are their passion, but they try to downplay it by labeling you something where people have learned to brush off when they hear the word. Then there's her laughable attempt at damage control from the so-called professionals in the industry. And I spoke yeah, like, I, and I'll still say, this is Sean Layden, by the way, he also was like, gamers, uh, gamers bad, and all that, uh, uh, kind of, uh, indirectly or directly. But Sean Layden era was actually very, very good for PlayStation. Uh, I would say that back when he was in office, <laughs> or I should say back when he was at PlayStation. Bruh. His error was good. I mean, I'm, I'm, bro, facts are facts, though. Regardless of what his opinions are now, don't matter. Don't, don't, don't matter, okay? Don't, don't matter. Uh, but, like, back when, he, uh, uh, yeah, uh, back when, when he was in the office, yeah, right? Like, uh, uh, the games that were coming out for PlayStation were really, really good. I'm getting sidetracked right now, man. Well, this uh, as well. She brings up the former Sony PlayStation boss, Sean Layden, telling the fans to make their own game or refrain from buying what they don't want to play. Because valid criticism about the portrayal of characters, the rewriting of historical context, or concerns about forced representation are just all meaningless drivel, right? I mean, right. of course, in her mind, nobody's allowed to say anything right. if it flies in the face of what she wants to be out there. At the end of the day, what we have here is yet another example of just how far modern gaming journalism has fallen. Instead of offering a balanced view and showing some actual tangible facts and receipts, it's turned Bruh. into being all about virtue signaling and protecting the industry from any form of critical analysis. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The fact is, this isn't about facts. This is about pushing an agenda, demonizing gamers, and pretending that all the dissent comes from just trolls and bigots that are out there trying to grift off a situation and make money. Hey, 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 whoa, chill. Tranquilo, papi. Money off of it. Like, these Tranquilo. people writing these articles aren't doing the same damn thing, by the way. Do you ever notice that? They always try to off-put this grift on evil, demonized YouTubers trying to talk about stuff and making money uh, off of it. Evil YouTubers, toxic gamers, it's like the same thing, right? Okay, go, try and go, uh, try and go to a showroom, try to buy a car. A and, or, or let's just say, like if you're going to buy a car, uh, oh man, I'm getting distracted right now. Damn, man, it's kind of tough right now to speak in a YouTube video, man. It's tough making a YouTube video sometimes, guys. Damn, man, but no, honestly, like try and uh, try to find a car, maybe used car or new car, don't really matter, but try to go and buy a car from, let's just say a stranger. If this stranger is like all up your business and started, starts to call you names or yeah bro like the steering wheel is broken buy the car it's gonna get fixed tomorrow bruh yeah so what buy the car man we don't have steering wheel the brakes don't work but the, the car the car works the car works right Ima imagine that would you buy the car 
from, let's just say, a man on the streets, right? Because sometimes we buy cars from men on the streets, right? We buy uh, cars, like used cars from strangers and, uh, you know, imagine you sit in the car and, you know, no steering wheel, no steering wheel, but you're supposed to buy it. You're supposed to buy it. You're not gonna buy, right? If you're, if the, 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 the seller is rude to you or selling you a product that's not working in this case let's just say a car without a steering wheel or no brakes you're not gonna buy you're not gonna buy i mean 99.99 percent sure you're not gonna buy there would be probably uh, another fella that would buy maybe thinking about some mouse you know what i'm saying but uh generally people are not gonna buy but apparently in the gaming industry yeah gamers toxic you can be openly call out your fans you can go crazy at the oh crap you can go crazy at the you can go crazy at your customer right you can call your customers bigots racist trash and gamers deserve to die and gamers don't don't deserve to live and all that which means the same thing y yeah you can actively call your customers out like that and it's fine according to them it, it's ludicrous right now, bro. It is ludicrous. Gaming situation is wild right now, bro. It's wild. What the hell do you think these people do writing the articles? Who knows? Maybe Ghost of Yute will be great. And I kind of hope it is because I love Tsushima. Hopefully. But that isn't the point at all. The point is people are free to share their opinions. And yeah, even yeah, more yeah. importantly, yeah, yeah. concerns. Especially yeah, yeah, based yeah. on the direction of the industry because of how it's been heading down the toilet as of late. Trying Facts. to silence us doesn't work anymore. Go retreat to your echo chamber because honestly, I'm gatekeeping you out. Zarmina, you are not welcome here anymore. Anyways, if you guys want any more information on this, no, check out SmashJT. Uh, bro, bro, don't do that, man. Brother, don't don't do that, man! Come on, man! Alright, man, guys, check out this video on the screen. This is the last video that we've done. Insane drama, brothers. Insane, like, crazy situation, bro. I don't even think, man, like, you guys ready to check that one out. But if you already seen it, then check out the video on the left, bruh.